It's the gift that keeps on giving. Once Mamma Mia was just an ABBA song, it then became a stage musical, then a film and then another. And now it's Mamma Mia! The Party, an immersive show featuring the band's hits, performed by actors as the audience enjoys dinner. A concept started in Sweden four years ago and now brought here by a band member who's still taken aback by our appetite for all things ABBA. I'm constantly a, a bit amazed when, when, I, when I see people, you know, and I sit here like I did the other night, and I, I see that people know every song and all of that, and, and the way they seem to be very happy as well. Uh, uh, and I'm proud, uh, and it's very humbling as, uh, at the same time, because you know, we split up in 1982, and, and, and here we are. Monday, Monday, Monday. After all the lucrative spin-offs, though, it's clear the fans still want the band themselves. There was supposed to be something of a reunion, with new songs recorded, and a tour this year featuring digital versions of the four band members. Here we are a year later, and we're still waiting I'm for I'm so either. sorry. So what, what's happened? Uh, well, it's, it proved to be technically more difficult to do certain things but but uh, next year I can promise you I, I won't promise any dates but next year uh, is when you'll get to hear the new songs so have you been in the studio recently yes we were in the studio recently but I, I you know the other three don't want me to say anything about this <laughs> so I, it's because it's it's a work in progress and it's it's kind of taking its shape right now. Also a work in progress, the UK's bid to win the Eurovision Song Contest, like ABBA did in 1974. This week, the BBC has announced a record company, rather than a public vote, will help choose our entry. And we got zero point from the UK jury, you know that. We came last last year. Uh, we always... Re revenge. It's clear who has continued to have the last laugh. Nina Nana, News at 10 at the O2 in London.